Hi, I'm Alan Resnick, the Editor-in-Chief of Dogs in Review magazine, and with me is Lydia Coleman Hutchinson. Lydia is a longtime Cairn Terrier breeder judge and an AKC multi-group judge, and uh, Lydia, we're delighted that uh, you could spend a few minutes with us. Well, thank you for asking me. Lydia, tell me what, in your mind, are the qualities that go into making a good judge? Um, you need to be objective, you need to have integrity, which is very important, and you need to um, feel comfortable with your ability to make the de decisions, sometimes very tough decisions, that come with judging. And you, you must not let um, outside influences intimidate you. Do you need to have bred your own good dogs to be able to recognize good dogs in the show ring? Well, I guess you're asking the wrong person about that because I feel very strongly that um, it is important to have a good background as a breeder and a good reputation um, for breeding typey dogs in your own breed or breeds. Uh, I would say that in my experience, a lot of the people that go into judging sometimes were not great breeders themselves. That doesn't mean they can't be a good judge and in some cases they do wind up being good judges. But I think if you have that background of being a successful breeder, it puts you one step closer to being a good judge. Does our current process of approving judges discourage a lot of good candidates from um, taking the plunge? I think so, in many cases, yes. Um, especially if you uh, are of an age um, say you're 60 or older and you've been doing the dogs for quite a while and you have all the qualifications to be an excellent judge but you don't want to have to jump through all the hoops and I can think of one person in particular that it's a, a great loss that she has decided never to apply to judge and that's Damer Bolte the noted Basenji breeder and border terrier person um, she would have been a brilliant judge but chose not to go through the process. Yeah, she would be a huge asset yes. to the ranks of dog show judges, I agree. Lydia, what, how do you prepare for a dog show assignment? Do you have a ritual that you undertake? Um, well, it's, it would depend on um, whether I'm judging here or in uh, another country, and I have judged quite a bit in other countries. Uh, here, if I would do a quick review of the standards, the uh, important points of each standard, but if I'm doing many, many breeds on a weekend, I'll be perfectly honest and tell you, I don't reread every single standard the night before I judge it. Some judges claim they do, and more power to them. But if I have a question in my mind, um, do you really want that top line to be that way? I will check it ahead of time. I always take my standards in the ring with me, and I ha if a question comes up while I'm judging a breed, I will stop my judging and go refer to the standard. Good for you. I think exhibitors appreciate that. That's, a sign, of that's a sign of confidence, not, not a sign of weakness in any way. I think that's sometimes misinterpreted. Um, tell me how our sport is faring in this shaky economy. You travel quite a bit and you judge quite a bit. Uh, it seems that um, I've just come back from judging in Sweden at the Stockholm Kennel Club International Show and they're concerned over there that their entries are dropping a bit just as ours are. Um, they, I don't think anybody's in panic mode yet, but um, there does seem to be a, a trend right now that the show entries are going down a bit. Um, and my, for myself, since I'm still breeding and exhibiting, I know uh, I work with my, the local cam breeders in my area and we, we work together to try and build up a, a decent entries so that we're, we're very supportive of each other and do that. I know that's not true in all breeds, but um, that's the only way that we're getting um, halfway good entries in our area right now. For my last question, I'm going to give you a magic wand and if you had it in your power to change one aspect of our sport, what would it oh, be? My goodness. <laughs> You're throwing me a curve without <laughs> any preparation. I do have a thought that, that I come, and this is not the one thing I would change, but um, 
I feel a lot of times the professional handlers take on dogs in breeds that they're not um, accustomed to and they don't have the requirements that the judges do that they have to have studied the standards in those breeds and a lot of times they don't present the breeds properly the way they're supposed to be presented I'm not saying this is the majority of handlers but I, I, I wish there were a way that AKC would require that the handlers pass a test about the breeds they're showing um, in order to do the proper uh, presentation and handling of those breeds. That's a really good thought. Lydia Coleman Hutchison, thank you so much for your generosity. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Thanks for giving us a few minutes. Well, th thank you for the unexpected pleasure myself. Good, thanks. <laughs>